You are listening to Two Minutes in the Olive Garden. Today's text, Exodus chapter 4, verse 31. And when they heard that the Lord was concerned about them and had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshipped. For hundreds of years, the people of Israel in Egypt had not had their leaders meet to have a meaningful time of worship to the Lord their God. 400 years had passed and many generations were long dead. This was a generation which probably did not even know how Joseph looked like, let alone appreciate the good conditions under which they lived, their forefathers lived, before this whole slavery thing started. So this generation, including Moses' generation, were born into a system of slavery. They never experienced what freedom felt like, except Moses himself, who had spent about 40 years in the palace of Pharaoh. The coming of Moses and Aaron, and of course, their meeting with the elders of Israel, would bring loads of joy as the elders regained the audacity of worship. Hearing that the Lord was concerned about them, and that the Lord had heard their cry, that knowledge alone was more than soothing enough to their ears. So they worshipped and worshipped indeed. You know, sometimes you worship God though you have not heard any good news lately. Hey. But when you hear good news, even your worship becomes better and more fragrant. It pours out of practical gratitude. May your worship be sweeter than ever. May you hear the good news which will make you give God the kind of worship you have not given him for a long time. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.